Hi, I'm Carrie, and this is my daughter, Gracie. Hi, everyone. And we're from Learn New Teach Hair Styles, and today I'm going to show you a style I just thought of, and I call the French Style Illusion Braid. So let's get started. Okay, so I have her hair totally wet, and I'm going to start from the top of her middle head here and I'm going to just make like a nice V shape from here to here. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is start from here, pick up, then I pick up, and then I'm gonna do it again here. So it'll give me a nice V shape. Here. So I need you to look up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by putting, use, doing three strands, separating into three strands. So I'm going to start out by doing a stitch, and this time, when you're going to add that strand, what you're going to do is take this from this part here. You're going to start. You can use your finger. You can use your rat tail comb, but you're going to take the point from here and you're gonna go down, you're gonna go this way towards your face, about an inch, inch and a half, and then, then you're gonna go right back. So here, not a righty, sorry. Over here, and come right back by scooping up a little bit of hair, right back to the middle. And I'll give you this look. Nice straight look. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go from this side. I'm gonna start from the middle, right here, in the middle of her braid. I'm gonna go towards her face, about an inch and a half. And then go right back by picking up a little bit of that hair. connecting it with this strand here so that you'll have that kind of look okay again you're going to do it on this side by scooping up a little bit and adding it to that strand same over here middle, towards her face, and then scooping up a little bit, and adding it to this, this strand here. And this is all repeated all the way down. Now that you're at the bottom of the hair, you can do a lot of different ways to do it. You could tie it off and connect it here and just put elastic band right here, or you can um, feather braid this by taking each of the side of the strand and taking slices out. Here. which this is what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna stop right here and I'm gonna finish it off with the braid. I'm just going to secure it temporarily. Okay, so now you'll have the tail part of the middle braid looking like this. Okay, now you'll be working on the side. I'm going to start on this side first, okay? Okay, so I'm going to take this side and take it from the ear and from this point right here 
down to the ear. And I'm going to smooth this out. And I'm going to separate these in three equal strands. I'm going to start off by doing a stitch of the braid and then I'm going to grab a piece right here, a slice of it. Then I'm going to take this, this slice right here where it meets right here and it separates and makes that little V. I'm going to take this one and bring it here. I'm going to continue to take a little bit at a time on the side. And then add this part right here. So each there's separations from this section to this section to this section. Each separation is going to be added to that braid on this side. On this side here, you're just going to add a little bit. Here's another section. Take that, bring it towards this strand, and it's just like French braiding, but you're just adding just this little piece right here that's separating from the side. That's what makes that illusion look to this braid, which I think is so cool. And then you just continue all the way to the end at the bottom. Now that I'm all done gathering my ends, uh, gathering my sections here, I'm going to take the pieces that I've already taken out and incorporate it with these strands here. I'm just going to connect it with this side and just do a regular braid. As you're doing this, though, make sure that you're close. Try to get as close to the to this braid as possible, so, it's, so that it's connecting. Okay, that was my last strand. So I'm just gonna finish it off by going all the way down. I'm going to tie this off temporarily, like I did the middle. Then I'm going to finish off the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I did on this side. Okay, so I'm at the end. Now I'm going to connect these strands. Last strand. Make sure that they are connected and when, they're, when they are connected, make sure that they are tight right next to this one here because, um, or you can leave it loose. I actually like it better close together because it kind of gives you that nice illusion of uh, a big six strand or eight strand or whatever. All right, so I'm going to connect this all together. I'm going to connect all this together right here. Now you can take these out. And 
and do the braid. Comb it out. Now you can fix this. Now, you can do it this way, like I did, or you could take it and you could grab it from here and then take the elastic band and connect it from here and do what you like with the rest of the tail. Kind of thought it was pretty cool how this turned out, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it this way. <clears throat> I'm going to cover the elastic band with one of my favorite accessories. So I'm gonna throw a little hairspray just to keep it in place. And dry. Okay, yeah. there you have it. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to that link below down there. If you want to see our latest tutorial, click on me. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.